tale of the Aquarius. In the celestial realm, bathed in stardust and cosmic luminescence, all the zodiac signs existed. They each had a tale to tell, a rich tapestry of lore that shaped them. Among these stories, the narrative of the Aquarius sign is perhaps one of the most captivating and intriguing. Now, you might know Aquarius as the water bearer, right? That's its symbol, a person pouring out water from a vessel. But here's something to ponder. Ever wondered why it's a water bearer and not a water creature like Pisces or Cancer, or why it's not something solid like a bull or a ram? Well, sit back, grab a cozy blanket, and let me tell you the spellbinding tale that might just answer these questions. Once upon a time, long before humans walked the earth, the sky was a vast playground for gods, goddesses, and mythical creatures. They roamed the skies, filling the universe with stories of adventure, wisdom, courage, and occasionally a pinch of mischief. In this celestial playground lived a young man named Ganymede. Ganymede. Ganymede was not a god, but he was more than an ordinary man. He was an immortal, the most handsome mortal that ever existed. But it wasn't his striking features that set him apart. It was his kind heart, the generosity he extended to every creature, big and small, and his curiosity that was as expansive as the cosmos themselves. Now, Ganymede lived on Earth, and his daily job was to take care of his father's sheep. He had a humble life, but he was content. He loved the open fields, the running rivers, and the stunning night sky that was his constant companion. But his peaceful life was about to change. You see, up in the heavens, Zeus, the king of all gods, noticed Ganymede. It wasn't just Ganymede's physical appearance that caught Zeus's attention. It was also his spirit, his compassionate nature, and his ceaseless curiosity that intrigued Zeus. With a wave of his hand, Zeus sent down his majestic eagle to bring Ganymede up to the heavens. And just like that, Ganymede's humble life was traded for a royal one. He was appointed as the cupbearer of the gods, serving nectar and ambrosia at their grand feasts. It was quite an upgrade, you could say. One moment, he was on earth, shepherding his father's sheep, and the next, he was in the heavens, pouring drinks for gods and goddesses. But here's the thing, Ganymede was not just pouring drinks, he was pouring wisdom, love, and understanding. The water he bore wasn't just any water, it was the divine nectar of knowledge and truth. That's why he is known as the water bearer, it's a symbol of what he gave to the gods, and in turn, to the universe. This is where the story of the Aquarius zodiac sign starts. But it doesn't end there. You see, the tale of Ganymede, the water bearer, also teaches us about the qualities associated with those born under this sign. Aquarians are known to be intellectual, innovative, and forward thinking, much like Ganymede. They have an insatiable thirst for knowledge and are often deep thinkers with a love for helping others. They value progress and truth, just like Ganymede pouring out the divine nectar of knowledge and truth. But let's dig a little deeper into the characteristics of Aquarius, shall we? They're known as the humanitarians of the Zodiac, always eager to help others, especially if it means improving society. This is similar to Ganymede's role in the heavens, helping the gods by serving them nectar and ambrosia. Aquarians are also known for their independence and individuality. They're not afraid to be different, and they're not ones to follow the crowd. In the tale of Ganymede, he was different from the other immortals. He wasn't a god or a goddess, yet he found his unique place among them. Another Aquarius trait worth mentioning is their affinity for innovation and technology. Just as Ganymede brought a new perspective to the heavens, Aquarians are often the ones to bring fresh ideas and new advancements to the world. Despite all these traits that make Aquarians remarkable, they do have their weaknesses. They can be aloof and detached, just like Ganymede, who was physically removed from his earthly life. Aquarians can be stubborn, sticking to their ideals, and sometimes coming off as eccentric or rebellious. 
but these weaknesses don't define them. Instead, they make Aquarians more relatable, more human. The tale of Ganymede reminds us that even those among the gods were not without flaws. So, there you have it, the story of the Aquarius zodiac sign. The tale of Ganymede, the water bearer, from the fields of earth to the grandeur of the heavens, he brought wisdom, truth, and love, forever imprinted in the stars as the constellation Aquarius. In essence, the tale of Aquarius serves as a testament to curiosity, compassion, individuality, and the pursuit of knowledge. It's a constant reminder that our true value comes not from our physical attributes, but from our character, our deeds, and our commitment to help and understand others, just like the water bearer. Wasn't that a story worth telling? It sure shows you the fascinating aspects of the zodiac sign Aquarius. Until next time, cheers.